Well, hello, chaps. It's Commodore Graham here, and welcome to what should be a short ish mod on Thermal Expansion 5, the new update to the Thermal Expansion mod. Now, this makes this mod compatible now with Minecraft version 1.10.2, which is pretty exciting for those wishing for and waiting for a fuller Feed the Beast mod pack than uh, Feed the Beast Infinity Light. Um, because thermal expansion, well, I don't know about you, but it's certainly one of my favorite and most used mods. Um, so in this video, we're going to be going over some of the uh, machines that have been added, other things that have been added, changes to how existing machines work. It's not going to be absolutely exhaustive. I'm just going to cover the things that really leapt out at me. So let's get started. There are four... Whoops. There are four new machines and a new generator that I noticed. The Arboreal Extractor, the Thermal Mediator, the Fractionating Still, the Compactor, and the new Dynamo, the Newman numismatic dynamo i suppose that's how you pronounce it um i'm also going to be showing a couple of differences a couple of new things i guess you can do with the energetic infuser and the phytogenic insulator and uh, there have been changes uh, to how the machines get upgraded as well so that's the first thing i'll show you actually this thing here the resonant conversion kit um if you apply this to uh to any machine it will be immediately upgraded to resonant, which sounds very easy, but uh, let's have a look. Uh, reson ah, let's have a look at how you craft this. So in, or in order to get this, you need to add together the upgrade kit for hardened, reinforced, signalum and resonant, which, which makes sense. Um, or you can put together these three, I guess. Wait, you don't need the hardened one at all? Oh, oh, wait, no, this is the conversion kit. There's two different kinds. The upgrade kit, which takes you up one, and the conversion kit. So each conversion kit includes all the upgrade kits up to that point, if that makes sense. And the upgrade kits are kind of like this but with different materials obviously for the uh, fancier kits so all you do once you have this conversion kit is just right click on the block and that's it now that's a resonant um what even is it it's a resonant compactor that's what it is and you can do the same with this uh, basic whoops this basic level newman is numismatic dynamo and uh, get the same effect there you go that's being converted to resonant um, which obviously speeds it up a hell of a lot uh, now let's get looking at some of these machines actually i need to make sure we have some nice light for this so this is the arboreal extractor and what this does is extracts resin from trees all you need to do is pop it at the base of the tree. You can put a tank on top of it to uh, to accept the resin, of course. Uh, as, as soon as I get, um, you know, over 25 millibuckets, I suppose, it's going straight into the tank. Um, yeah, no power required, nor anything else required. Just put it next to a tree and leave it running. So that's pretty easy. Um, I put a whole bunch of them over here with tanks attached so that I could get some, you know, collect up some resin because the next thing that we will be looking at is the fractionating still. Now what this does is uh, it converts various fluids into um, solid and liquid fractions. So let's, sort, let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Actually what we need is not to be in creative. Right, so let's pick this up and instead put this portable tank on top that's filled with um, uh, that's, that's filled with resin. Oh, by the way, uh, these tanks you can upgrade. 
Dang it. You can upgrade them in exactly the same way with the resonant conversion kit here. So I'll, I'll just do that to a random tank just so you can see. There you go. Jobs are good. Un. Now then, let's go and fractionate uh, this resin. But before we do that, actually, uh, you may have noticed this dynamo here. This is a numismatic dynamo. And uh, numismatic dynamos run on currency. That's right, currency. So you just put coins in it and it converts coins to energy. Now, how you get coins is a matter that we'll be getting to shortly. Uh, these are platinum coins. Notice they're called platinum and not shiny. Shiny is now actually officially called platinum, which I'm not sure I like that change, actually. I think it was quite cute calling it shiny. Uh, we have another block behind here. This is the thermal mediator. You'll notice I had to fill this with water. What you do is you put it next to machines and any adjacent machine. So you could have one here, 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 and I guess probably underneath it as well. No, not underneath it as well, seemingly. Oh, yeah, you could. You could if you wanted to. Um, and it cools machines down and hence allows them to run faster. I'm not sure how much faster, but apparently it's a thing. So let's see what happens when we fractionate this resin. Whoa, no. Oh, shit. Come back. That's better. Is this set up right now? It sh should be. No, it totally isn't. Hang on a sec. Let's rearrange um, this so the input's here. Okay. Auto input unavailable. <sighs> well, that's a bit of a bugger. What do we do about that? Uh, do, 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 do. It must be an augment of, of some sort, right? Whoops. Auxiliary save. No, it's not. It's, it's not that. Okay, um, tell you what, forget that for now. We should be able to do it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've at least put some resin in here. What are we getting? We're getting rosin, which uh, you can use to... Um, uh, we, we, that's, that's the stuff that you use on violin balls, isn't it? To give them some purchase on the string. So you can see our resin's going down. Oh, right. So out of resin, we get rosin and tree oil. I, th I think tree oil was a thing in... Um, or was it just seed oil that was a thing in the whole, in the old version of uh, thermal um, expansion? I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what you get. Now, I feel like checking to see what rosin is actually... Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. What rosin is actually for. Okay. Right, so you can use it in place of slime, I suppose, to make leads. You can make torches out of it. Um, sticky pistons, magmatic florb. Presumably you can put slime there as well. And just your regular florb. What about the mechanical crafter? Yeah, yeah don't worry about that. That's from extra utilities anyway. So, there's that. So you, uh, you get quite a lot of rosin, actually. So if you're wanting to use it for the various uses that you would normally use slime for, then put yourself together one of these arboreal extractors and you will soon have enough resin to get yourself a whole bunch of this stuff and whatever the tree oil's for. Now, uh, the next machine, and in fact the last of the new machines that I'm going to mention, is the compactor. Now, the compactor has multiple functions, one of which being, um, I guess I'll, I'll just take eight ingots, that'll probably do. 
Uh, one of which is to press ingots into sheets, I believe. Okay, it's doing it. So if you ever wanted gold plate, you can now do this with the compactor. There are, uh, let's see, let's grab a bunch more. How much do we need? Not a, well, actually, we might need a bunch of nuggets and a bunch of that. Anyway, carrying on. Um, another thing that the compactor can do, what was that? I guess it was just a squid in there. Anyway, another thing the compactor can do, if you change its mode, there, there, see, there's the press mode which makes plates, there's a storage mode. Now with the storage mode, you can turn nuggets into ingots. Or you can turn ingots um, into blocks. So there you go, that's basically what that does. Although that's not the limit of what um, the compactor does. So um, that, that's pretty useful in and of itself. Oh, wait, what happened there? Oh, you can't put them in here in the output slot. Of course you can't. Silly me. Now, um, let's... Because the sun looked like it was getting a little low, perhaps. Right, let's uh, look at the final thing that I'm aware of that you can do with this new compactor block, which is mint coins, which is pretty uh pretty sweet uh you need to use this augment here the uh numismatic press augment this is like this is a specialization each each machine has a um an augment you can add to give it a specialization um this seems to be pretty sta pretty standard across all or almost all of the uh thermal expansion machines so Let's bung some gold in here and see how much it gives us. I'm quite curious. Okay, three per ingot. So that probably means three nuggets per coin as well. So, currency such as this and whatever else, really. Um, hold on a second. Uh, if I go back into creative and we go to thermal foundation. Here you can see all the different coins you can make, uh, ranging from, you know, crappy metals like aluminium, copper and iron, all the way up to uh, signalum, lumium, enderium, uh, everything in between. And I think they all have different uh, values in terms of um, how much power you'll get out of them with a numismatic dynamo. Ah, I said it right first time this time. So we got 30 gold coins out of that. I suppose we can use uh, some of these to fill up the um, redstone flux storage of the compactor again. <coughs> now, I haven't really sat down and calculated how efficient it is to be doing this sort of thing. I suppose if you have something like, um, oh, what's the mod called? Uh, AgriCraft installed, and you have it enabled to allow you to grow resource crops so that you can basically grow diamonds and gold and whatever else on plants, then you could have a renewable source of coins to feed to the numismatic dynamo here. Uh, and we seem to be getting a decent amount of energy out of each coin thus far. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Now, um, there are some other things that I want to show you here uh, that involve uh, blocks that we already have. So, here we have the energetic infuser, which is just uh, standard from previous versions, or at least the previous version of... Um, uh, that, uh, thermal expansion, uh, but it's had a new function added to it. It may have had more than one new function added to it. Uh, I haven't, like I say, I haven't checked exhaustively uh, everything that this uh, new version of the mod does. But if you put rich phytogrow in here, you get an even better version called fluxed phytogrow. 
which is kind of great. Presumably, this is uh, even more uh, effective in the um, phytogenic insulator, which is the next machine we're moving on to. And we'll show you a couple of things here. Now, uh, I've got this set up with another numismatic dynamo. Uh, there's uh, an aqueous accumulator here to provide the water, which obviously you need. Um, we're going to use fluxed phytogrow for the um, uh, the fertilizer. We can lock that in place if we want. That's not a new thing, though, I don't think. And uh, we can grow ourselves a whole bunch of mushrooms. Because there is now uh, a new augment, a specialization augment for the phytogenic insulator called um, mycelium substrate, which allows you to grow mushrooms should you want to grow a whole shitload of mushrooms in the uh, phytogenic insulator. But that's not the only uh, augment that you can put in there. And I think these are new as well. Um, where are we? Uh, yes, so here's the mycelium substrate uh, augment that we just saw. There's also a nether substrate, which allows you to grow nether crops or nether wort and anything else that's counted as a nether crop. Uh, if you have mods that give you more crops in the nether, I suppose. Uh, and there's the ender substrate, which allows you to grow any crops from the end. Uh, so there's that. There is um, one more thing that I wanted to mention, which is a new function of the sawmill. The sawmill now has a specialization augment called the resin funnel, which allows you to extract fluids from logs. So, I mean, we also we, we already have a means to extract uh, tons of resin using these arboreal extractors that I've put all over the place. Oh, I just want to check actually whether we lost any water from the thermal mediator. We didn't. So presumably that just goes down pretty slowly. Are we in, let's go back into survival. Um, wait, no, no, we've got some more here. I'll put that in here, uh, in there, and then we'll, if I remember, come back and check at the end, see if we've lost any of our coolant. Hopefully I've got this set up right so that it's actually working. Uh, in the... Wait, this is the top. These are the sides. This is the back. Pretty sure. Um, so this is an input, and you can only have inputs or off. So uh, presumably the input is just supposed to be waste heat or something. Anyway, the so uh, we, we already have, like I say, uh, a renewable source of resin from trees using the, what are they called again? Arboreal extractor. But if you have this augment here, the resin funnel, you can also extract fluids from logs. And I think the fluid you get is tree resin. So let's take some of this wood, see what we get. Okay, we're getting planks. We're getting six planks from each log, so that's kind of great. Sawdust and, yep, yeah, resin. Why is it stopped? Oh, right, that's why it's stopped. Uh, so obviously you want this to be outputting to a chest or something, which brings up another uh, another point. Ooh, whoops, a daisy. Brings up another point, <clears throat> which is that a law we do have uh, thermal expansion uh, and oh wait, I need to remind myself of the names of the mods here. Law we have. Thermal expansion, thermal foundation, uh, and well, yeah, although we have those, um, thermal dynamics has not yet been updated for Minecraft 1.10.2. Now, uh, thermal dynamics is what I always used to use to transport items from one place to another using these machines. You had flux ducts, fluid ducts, and item ducts. Uh, but those are not available. So what I did 
is had a look to see what other possibilities there were. Turns out that Buildcraft Transport hasn't been updated for 1.10.2 either, but um, Extra Utilities has. So, um, in Extra Utilities we have, let's see if I can find it, we have transfer pipes and we have transfer nodes. So we move items around. I guess we can move fluids around it, if those will go through transfer pipes. Um, we, we have the retrieval nodes for items and fluids here and filters so we can filter stuff out. But anyway, I'm uh, kind of getting sidetracked here. The, the only thing that's a bit of a bugger is that the new version of Extra Utilities does not yet seem to have um, energy, uh, energy pipes. So uh, in lieu of that, I think what you probably have to use is this wireless redstone flux transmitter, which runs on uh, GP. Um, not really 100% sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure that uh, one could figure it out pretty easily. But it allows you to transfer redstone flux wirelessly, as it says, from, uh, from batteries to nearby blocks. Now, let's see. Is there anything else that I should cover right now? I'll just quickly flick through... Uh, thermal expansion. Right. So, we have, uh, well, there's the cache. Uh, I'm not sure how that works, so I'm not going to go into that in this video. Uh, machine frame and device frame as, well, machine frames ring a bell. Device frame, that doesn't. So, let's have a look at this. Uh, maybe this was a thing in the old version, and I, it's just been too long since I've played Feed the Beast. But anyway, you have these different frames, including a frame for energy cells. And just like all of these machines, you can only build the basic version um, of the machine. Uh, sorry, of the energy cell. Here we go. And then you will just upgrade it with the upgrade kits or conversion kits again. So let's see, is there anything in uh, Thermal Foundation that I should mention? Uh, there's, well, uh, there's the coins, obviously, that we use for the numismatic dynamos. Uh, aside from that, I think this may be new, the Redstone Servo, possibly. Um, but aside from that, I'm not sure enough about this stuff to know whether uh, whether any of it is new. There may be some new uh, liquids, possibly. I, I'm not sure whether naphtha was a thing. But what do we have? Resin didn't really ring a bell. Primal mana, that could be new, maybe, not sure. But uh, here's what we have. Decide for yourself. Now then, just uh, I have a I have a list of points here just to see if there's anything else that I want to mention. Okay, yeah, uh, one thing that I did want to mention for those of you wondering what shader pack I'm using, I'm using the CUDA shader pack, K U D A, um, and I'm using it via the native support for shaders in the newer versions of Optifine. I actually made a video about the CUDA shaders. Uh, I may put that in, a link to that in the description if I remember. Uh, now, I think that's about all I wanted to cover. Let's see if there's anything in this chest that gives me any ideas. No, not really. So uh, what we're going to do now is uh, go over what you need in order to add this to your own world in terms of... Um, uh, you know, in terms of installation instructions, prerequisites, things like that. So, excuse me if the screen goes black for a moment whilst I switch away from full screen. And I'm going to show you my display. 
so that you can come into my browser. Right, the first thing that I wanted to do is to um, uh, give credit where credit's due to the people who actually made this mod that I'm just making a dumb YouTube video about. Um, there's, uh, the, well, this this was all made by uh, Team C-O-F-H, C-O- yeah, C-O-F-H which, st- which stands for Cult of the Full Herb, apparently. You can read all about their history here. Um, and the m- current members are King Lemming, Cynical, Zeldo, Skyboy, and R.W. Tema, or Tema. Uh, d- I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. <laughs> And uh, R.W. Temer here, Temer, Tema, uh, also wrote uh, extra utilities, which you might use for the transfer pipes and nodes that I pointed at earlier. Now, when it comes to installing this, the way that I have it installed is via the curse client. So that's all I'm going to be covering. That's the only way I personally know to do this. And it's the way that I've done it anyway. Uh, there are other ways to install mods. I am quite sure this is just a very easy way. So, all you do is uh, from the front page of the Curse client, when you have an account and when you've in- installed the client and logged in, you create a custom profile, select version 1.10.2. It will select the correct version of Forge for you. Call the profile whatever you want. And that's it, basically. Um, then you need to ins- to download the requisite mods. So what we have here, and I'll put links to all of these in the description box. You have thermal expansion, which uh, is what gives you all the machines and so forth. But you also need, in order to run this, thermal foundation, which provides the ores and various other things that you need. Uh, and COFH Core, um, which I suppose is a code library or, or some some such. I don't know. I'm not very technical, so don't ask me. So Thermal Foundation, well, well, Thermal Expansion, you can download right from here, right from the uh, Curse website. Same with Thermal Foundation. Same with COFH Core. And uh, one thing that was not mentioned, and I only found this out the first time that I tried to run uh, my profile, is that you also need code chicken lib. Um, so download that too. Now, when it comes to installing them in your profile, that's very easy. Uh, when you've gone to these pages and downloaded the zip files that you find there, just go to your curse client, uh, go to your custom profile. Go to the ellipsis box up here, open folder. The folder that opens is the folder for your, um, you, you know, for your profile installation that you have. And uh, just go into the mods folder and drop the mods that you want in here. Now I, I put a few extra things in. I put in extra utilities because it was something that would give me pipes. Uh, so I thought I'd point that out in case you wanted to have them uh, until Thermal Dynamics comes out. This is just enough items, which is which what allows me to, y- you know, search for uh, search for items in a search bar and so forth. I just installed Optifine so that I could have the uh, shader pack, and and that's it, really. the The only things that you need are this, 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 and this. The rest is uh, the rest is completely optional, right? Um, and uh, the other thing that I'd mention, I'll put this in the description bar as well, is some of the things uh, that I showed you here. I learned about uh, from this uh, post on Imager, which I believe I originally saw on Reddit. So uh, let's see now. Let's get back into the game. Full screen this. The screen might briefly go black again. So, as the rain pours down upon me, this video draws to a close. I hope you liked it, uh, found it useful. If you did, do please click the like button. It helps out rather a lot. Share it with anyone you think might be interested or entertained. Leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section below and subscribe if and only if you'd like to see more.
Tit off for now, chaps.